You're watching Garage TV, that unexplainable passion for motoring. Garage TV HD. This right here is a brand new Jaguar XFR. And I can just say that it's an absolute beauty. So you can see, this being the XF is a mid-size sedan. You don't get the full XJ model. But, so you can see, this being the R, there are a few differences. And this being 2013, there's more differences than before. The front end, actually the front grille is black. The wheels, they're brand new. They're sort of sportier. And this for the American market means a lot because in the American market, sporty looking cars are better. And another thing that I like is this white color because with the black in front and the black rims, it looks amazing. The rims are 20 inches and they pretty much come in a standard size. Pretty much is the same as every other one of them. But this being the R model, you get a little bit more grip. Also, there's suspension here. There's active suspension, which sort of fixes itself a million times a second. That way you get the best comfort and if you're at the track, you get the best times from every single lap you're going at. So, let's take a look at everything else we can get from this new XFR. So you can see right here we have the 20 inch rim, the brand new one. This is the black, the black rim right here. And this being the sport model, you will need to stop. Look at those massive brakes. Those are actually Jaguar's own performance brakes. They're unbelievable to stop with. Other things, well, the front tire is about 10 inches wide, and in the back it's about 12 inches wide. Imagine the grip you're gonna have with that. And with the active suspension, everything's unbelievable. That's one of the vents that represents the R model. There's also another few vents right on top here of the hood. There are two and they say supercharged. That's because under here, we have a five liter supercharged V8. This still has the same 510 horsepower you get in the previous models, but that's because it's a brilliant engine. You don't want any more than that. You get all the comforts in the world and all the horsepower you pretty much need. There's also 461 foot pounds of torque, which means you can play around with it quite a lot. And the fact is, this might be a luxury car, but you can still turn the traction control. That right there is the gear lever. If you move it sideways like this, it selects the gears for you. Right here you get the sport selector buttons. This is dynamic mode, which sets up the car so you can get the best performance out of it. And this one is the best one of them all. That's the traction control. Keep it held for 10 seconds, and as you might see, that is gonna turn off completely. So you can actually have all the fun in the world. Here. Including the air vents. So you can see if I turn them on, they come to life. It's like they appear out of nowhere. And if for some reason I feel too cold, just press it back down, and they go away. That way it gives you a clean look all around. Other things with it, well, this is the sports version, so it does have some speed and you can actually hear that supercharger so it's actually quite fun zero to 60 time is four and a half seconds which makes this amazing because it weighs just about two tons and that's quite a lot of weight but with that engine in front oh my god it is quite a lot of fun the top speed 181 miles an hour that's unbelievable for a car this size there's space for four, very comfortable. Oh. It's also the details. Every single thing they listen to, they put every single detail, the attention they've put in there. 
It's amazing. And the fact that Jag isn't owned by the British anymore, it is kind of sad, but it actually means that they last longer. They're actually being made a little better. And that's not bad. Other things about it, well, if you're in sport, the gear changes, they're not bad. They're immediate. And this doesn't have a double clutch gearbox. But what it does have is an electronic differential. So you don't actually lose control of the rear tires at any moment. Other things you can figure out about this car is that the responsive suspension, the active suspension is actually very sophisticated because I'm driving along at 30 miles an hour and comfort all around. There isn't any noise from outside. There's absolutely nothing. It's so quiet in here, it feels like church. I mean, and then you step on the accelerator and there isn't a lot of noise. There's just enough to tell you you're going that little bit faster. And that's it. It's just unbelievable. This car just does it so well. Look at that. And then the rep matches. Oh, that's such a good car. All right, other things, well, cornering is excellent. Braking, unbelievable. Took my face off earlier today. The build quality, incredible. Honestly, second to none. I would take this car over any Mercedes, any BMW, and of course, over any single Audi out there. I mean, it's slightly cheaper, but let's just say less expensive. But I feel like with the simplicity and all of those things, it's better because things are easy to use when they're simple. And there's also something that I wanted to say for like ever. This being simpler and slightly cheaper, it's the one I'd have. Compared to all the German rivals, I'd have this one over every other thing. Honestly, it's that good. And the horsepower, I mean, if you want an equivalent Mercedes or BMW, you'll be paying just about $100,000. This for $83,000, bargain of the century, honestly. And it's luxurious, it's comfortable, seating position is excellent. Honestly, I love it. So, put it in sport and goodbye. You're watching Garage TV, that unexplainable passion for motoring. Garage TV, HD.